Christopher na mai wa songa married to Mr. Ibrahim Masonga a mother of two prosper and splendor first of all we got married in 2011 then we had a good time one year one year was just fine uh, together and in 2012 God blessed us with a daughter our first born daughter prosper then in 2013 that's when the challenges began uh, my husband had a motorbike he lost the motorbike after losing the motorbike he started working just manual jobs and just to make them the ends meet then in the same year 2013 in october he got an attack he was attacked by robbers thugs on the road on his way to from church it was around 7:30 in the evening when i, I was coming coming back home all over heaven i had a man talking behind me before i could look back they they hit me with a blunt object on on my on my head at the back of my head so from there they pick they they, they took my phone they they take my, my my cloth they went with the evidence that they had and then i was still able to know these people are the ones who are done this to me then they knew that i am not i'm not able to even to walk so when i I, I woke up. I there, there was a man behind, behind me, a soldier at the school, Nikandia Primary. So he, he came, and then I, I asked him for a phone. He gave me a phone. Then I, I was able to trace the, the name of my wife. Then I, I called her. I told her in case I don't reach at home, just come. This is looking for me. He called me before he collapsed so that he has been attacked. I thought it was just a joke. But that time, thank God, I was able to walk up, 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 up to home. The moment I arrived at the gate, I had a paper, paper bag, two paper bags in my in this, this hand and this hand. So the one in the, 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 the left hand fell down. I had to, to pick it. I was not, not able to collect it. That's when I realized that I have, I have an issue. Then I went to the house. Just stepping in the house, that is when I, I collapsed when reaching home he could not even speak he could not even talk and we had to rush him to hospital reaching hospital we found that he had serious injuries uh, in the head he had intracerebral bleeding so the ct scan showed that he had intracerebral bleeding then we started now looking how he could be treated and if it would be possible for him to to get soon well as a normal person as a christian we hope for better so we are thinking that maybe in one or two days he'll be fine and the doctors keeps on telling he'll be fine he'll be fine then now we after several ct scans it was discovered that the the intra, the blood the clot in the in the skull or in the brain was not able to be removed so the doctor told us that that thing will will have to remain there for a while then it will come out so we had high hopes that it will it will be healed i was not, not in in a position to tell to say that anything she is in charge she is the one who, who, who knew what was going on i was just there to sleep no, nothing else then after one month he stayed in the hospital for one full month 
the first two weeks he was he was not talking he was not doing anything he was not he was just there so in in the in the, like in the, in the, in the first two weeks i was not able because around three three weeks yeah around three three weeks then i was able to know somebody somebody but but the first week no i could not detect any anybody at all, at all. so after the, the third week the neurosurgeon came and told us he's paralyzed the left the whole of the left side is paralyzed so he told us if he had powers he could do the operation to remove the scar in the brain but the only thing the doctor told us is that the only that, that scar wherever the scar is in the blood it's only god who created this the brain is the one who will remove that scar so they started we had commotion in between the doctors one was saying the neurosurgeon we had four so one of them the three of them were saying we have to do the operation but one was saying no the operation should not be done because if it will be done it will cause more damages than it is now the worst thing in life is that uh, what you were able to do now you you can't do you are not born like this but now you are in the same situation that that's the worst thing that can happen to a man now behold you have a family you can't provide for for, for, for them so it is only god who came in for us to be to be here even now so we were there praying and i thank god for the the friends and the church and the body of christ that was with us especially the body of Christ in Eldoret they stood family together with us the church where we were by then they stood with us like my own brothers and my own sisters you could not tell because they were there with me from the first day to the last day though we, we were not many very, very few but but with a very big impact they were there for us family friends so they were there for us they were helping us financially and even spiritually they were encouraging us for us 10 years it had not been easy but god but god he came in he made sure even when i was in the, on on the bed somebody could come and pay the house rent no no not even for for one month five five, five months and then he, he, he could make sure there's food in the house. I'm not talking about this, there's food. In fact, when, uh, we, when I was sick, we used to eat very well. Then <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when I'm okay, I was okay. We could eat very well then than when I was okay before. I don't Because they... Uh, he could not allow me to go beyond what a somebody says don't hunt what you can't kill so god could help me he could prevent me from thinking beyond beyond the the the, the, the normal so i just i just you just god not, not, nothing else uh in fact eh, where 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 are we were living by then had to go to the garden for for long it was it doesn't take long being there one year. One, year. one year so most people had not known us very well but those who, who knew us very well they were not there on the day he was attacked on 6th of october that is the day i was i was sacked from job that is the day i lost my job so i lost my job on 6th the same sixth in the evening is when he was attacked so we, we were there hopelessly but i thank god because he says all things work out for good for those who love him because it will be now i understand better why i lost my job because i was there with him in those pro- throughout the the month the whole month and i i just had the worry of the baby because our firstborn was not even 1 year old she was 
she was around nine, ten months old. So I just concentrated on him in the hospital. To my fellow men who might be in my situation, first of all, if you are married, thank God. Because even if it could have happened when I was not, not married, it could be worse. Because no, no, no man somewhere who, who could stand in her place where, where she was by then, no, no one will be able to do the same. But uh, if you are married, just stick to your partner and trust him or her that uh, no, no matter what has happened, it will come to an end. Uh, God had a purpose for you to, 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 to be together or to, to reunite, to, to make you a husband and a wife. So just stay there and make sure that the purpose of God is fulfilled. Don't run away from your partner just because of the situation. The situation may come and it will change and God says that in every situation he's there with us. And he in fire, in wood, God is there with us. So just stand with your partner, walk through with him, talk to him, because you're the best partner, you're the best friend at the moment. You'll encourage him and he'll gain strength. Don't run away. It has been hectic, it's now 10 years down the line. And we are still hoping for the better because he's still paralyzed. The left side hand is not working. But we thank God that the right, the, the legs are now moving because initially he was not moving. He could not walk, he could not do anything. For instance, let me tell the truth of the matter. When you eat, you must go to the toilet. Is that true? So, she could make sure that after eating, because I was not able to walk to the toilet in, in the outside, because the, our, our house doesn't have a self-contained. You must go outside. Now I, I know I'm not able to go outside. What do I do? We we, we made with, with my hand we look for a, for for a, what does it? <laughs> a bucket. Yes. So she, she could make sure that uh, and the baby walker, the baby walker we, we, we dismantle the, the baby walker yes. so that so that we can use the, the, the upper side the upper part as a, as a, as the so that uh, <laughs> Creativity. Yeah. At some time I could leave even the food. If the food is not near where he was, you just find that food there. And I had to go out to work, at least to make sure that we have something on the table. So I could leave him with the daughter. They could stay until the time I come in the evening. So it was, it was a bit hectic, but I thank God for the strength and the strength of the, of the people who are around me. And we are still praying that God will come for us. And one day he will use his hand again. In life, anything can happen anytime. But uh, the thing is, when it comes, be ready. Trusting that God who began the good work will finish it. So when you keep your mind on men, they will fail you, but God will not fail you. Um, Ibrahim was Songa or the Ambo. Ibrahim was Songa is married to one wife, Isabel, uh, and during the same, God, God has blessed two children, two girls, the very beautiful one, Brenda and Prosper.